Tiffany asks, why are you such a fan of lap dances? Okay. In 2007, all right, there was a movie called Grindhouse. And in the trailer, Quentin Tarantino himself promised us a lap dance. So I went to see that movie, all 10 hours and 47 minutes of it, and there was no lap dance anywhere. So then flash forward, and I get the DVD with my buddy, and we watch the six-hour director's cut, and lo and behold, there's the lap dance that we'd been promised in the original trailer. It made me wonder how many other movies has that happened in, where they film a lap dance, and they just cut it before it ends up you know, hitting the theaters. I've gotten really good at spotting those moments where it's obvious they filmed one and it just didn't make the final cut. So I point them out as sins. Why don't you stop doing the conversation videos and other bull and just do more sins videos? Alright, well, I'm gonna assume just by asking that you've never made a sins video. But, whatever. Let's forget for a second that most people who watch the conversation videos actually enjoy them. Um, Let's throw that aside. What you're talking about is a time difference. It takes way longer to make a Sins video than it does to make a conversation video. It's like comparing the Grand Canyon to your vagina. And it's like saying, should I cook myself some dinner, or should I build a log cabin with my bare hands from scratch? Doing a conversation video in no way keeps us from doing a Sins video. It keeps us from doing a second Sins video that they take for f***ing ever. I mean, it's time we're happy to spend, weekly. But, you know, maybe just watch the sins videos once a week and go about your life. There's this new tool YouTube just put out actually that it's called not watching videos that you don't like. You should check it out. All right, how many people are there behind Cinema Sins? Okay, this one I'm glad we can clear up. Cinema Sins is two people. But not right, not you not and me. You and I, it's like you and I should be considered like one entity. All right. Along with any other us's you see running around here. Right. Like, the other guy has never been on camera, but he's been part of the writing and shooting and editing since the beginning of Cinema Sins. I mean, he's like Teller. Well, I mean, if you will. Teller appears on camera, he's just silent. Well, not exactly. That's it's a fine analogy. All right? Everybody knew what I meant, alright? There's another guy, and he's mysterious. How is he mysterious? In ways. Will you have sex with me? Well, I don't know you, but... Sure. Wait, is she hot? Well, I don't know, dude. She sent a picture. It's just an email. I don't even know if it's a girl. Mm -hmm. I'll have to take my chances. 